Hello again. In this video I'm going to show you how we can implement an energy bar, uh, which is pretty simple to do in MPAGD using the plot command. So what we'll do is we'll load up the demonstration game, um, Diamond Geezer, once again. There we go, that's Diamond Geezer. And um, we'll go to the events. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, a variable for the energy. We'll use E for energy, I think. So what we need to do is on the initialization we'll set this variable. Now E is going to be a coordinate on the screen and when the coordinate gets to a certain point, when it moves down um, to the lowest level, uh, we're going to kill the player. But um, we're going to start it off at 200 to begin with, um, which is the leftmost point of the energy bar. So we save that. In fact, what we'll do is we'll put um, some text on the screen as well. So at 17.25 we're going to put energy. So that will be the indicator. Save that there. Now in our restart screen event we're going to have to redraw this um, bar. So while E is less than we want capitals there don't we? While E is less than um, what's the rightmost extent? Let's say 248. Um, we then want to plot a bar. Let's make it 4 pixels. So, um, we've already used. Have we used F? Probably not. Um, let's use D. Let's D equal. Um, now, where do we want it? We want it 18 rows down the screen. So 8 times 18 is 80 plus 64 is 144. Add on another 2 to centralise it within the character cell. Um, so we will start it off at 146. Uh, while D is less than um, 150. Plot E D. We add 1 to D, so that gets the thickness of the bar, so it's 4 pixels high. Then we add 1 to E, move it along, and then that should draw our little energy bar. So we're now drawing a bar from the current position E, which starts off at 200, all the way up to um, 248, which is the maximum value we can get in the, the, uh, the energy bar, in this energy bar anyway. So we've saved that, um, now we go to the um, enemy sprite type event and you can see there we have some code to kill the player when we collide with it. Well instead of doing that what we're going to do is we're just going to um, subtract 1 from E and plot got to do the whole bar, haven't we? The whole thickness of the bar. So let D equal, what do we start off at? 146, wasn't it? Let D equal 146, uh, while D is less than 150. Um, plot E, D. Um, add 1 to D. And while. So that will just remove one little bit of the bar. Four pixels high, one pixel wide. Subtract one from E. Uh, then um, we've got to test for the end of the bar if E is uh, less than or equal to 200, which is the um, leftmost pixel. We kill the player there. 
And that should be a little energy bar, but let's give it a test. We need to export the source code. Create the assembler listing, and that should build. That's OK. Clear some space for our code. Load the binary file. Gz.bin. Set up the start address, 24576, as always. And then run the code with the randomised USR. There's our menu, and we start the game now, and when, as you can see, we've got an energy bar at the bottom there. And that goes down. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> and we start. So that's how to do a little energy bar in MPAGD.